Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our Centaur campaign. In the last episode, we finally united the Centaurs under one tag, which was Kiran Yu Leg here. We got access to our new mission trees, new ideas, and we started to go down them. The first people that we went and took out were the Ogres. We farmed a couple of uh, battles off of them to complete a mission down here, which gave us an additional plus 10% shock damage until the end of the game. Which, it, that's really good. That is really good. And now we have the Lake Fed. And I asked you guys about what we wanted to do with them. We had two options. We can, one, subjugate them through a special CB that we have access to, which you can find right here. The Lake Subjugation CB. 50% AE, 50% cost for Enforced Dominion. Or B, we could just take him out and burn it all to the ground. Also a valid way to go about it. And I think... <sighs> I think we're just going to subjugate them. I know. I know. Why not, sub why not just raise them to the ground, you may ask. Well, because it's going to suck. That's why. That's why. Uh, because of Truinic Resistance. Truinic Resistance is still going to fire. It is still going to cause tons and tons of rebels to spawn up. But then again, we could... We could he who them. We could get rid of them. And maybe we get rid of them fast enough to where it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it another little think over while our troops move over towards them. <laughs> and by the time they get over there, well, I kind of have to decide. All right, so we are in the middle of coring all this up. We need to delete all of these forts because I do not want to pay for absolutely any of them. None of these forts are worth having. Okay, there we go. And we need to integrate some vassals. So first vassal we're going to integrate is actually Northern Wind. We are going to Nijil them. Meaning unity, a Nijil is the union between two tribes under the dominion of one. We will integrate all their territory into our own. So this costs 20 Horde unity. All right. But we... Hello? Uh... Uh... That was not supposed to happen. Uh... Well, that was unexpected. I was supposed to fully annex them. Hmm. Well. That's, uh... That's interesting. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. That was a bit of a, uh... Of a curveball. Well, in three years, we can, I guess, do it again. I don't know. Maybe that's what he's gotta do now. <laughs> uh, but we can integrate another guy here. We can integrate this horde. Since on a different timer which is pretty sweet. And we can go ahead and state everything up that it is allowing us to. I'm still really confused why this didn't work. Uh, and let's make our way towards the lake fed. So we're making a decent chunk of cash here. So let's go ahead and build up another 20,000 troops, mostly to help deal with rebels and such. Uh, 100 hooves, we're gonna go ahead and, here, go by name. And where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 100 hooves. 100 hooves. I know my alphabet so freaking good. It's burning hooves, not 100 hooves. I just can't read. That's the problem. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scud them. That way we can integrate them while we are at war. Okay, well, we're here. Here's what I think we'll do. We'll go to war to conquest. And if the rebels become too much, then we will start to subjugate. That sound good? I think that's a good compromise for everyone involved, specifically me. Uh, let's build up to 10,000 cannons before we get this war started, though. Because uh, that is kind of important, since our siege ability is so bad. Yes, there's our horsies. Send them over to the capital. There we go. Disagree and advisor. Uh, Spymaster can die. It's fine. Can I have a... Yeah. Sure. I guess it really didn't matter. Uh, here's more horsies. Where are the rest of my horsies? Where are they? Oh, it's just the one. Okay, you walk over here. Uh, you guys can walk on back. Yes, we're losing money now, but hey, we're a horde. If we're not losing money, uh, we're probably doing something wrong. All right. First target. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, are they in their religious wars? Is that what's happening right now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're dead. Oh, the lake fed's dead. We already won. That's GG. Like, that. that's it. It's over. It, it's legitimately over. There's nothing they can do. Oh, my God. If they don't unite against me, 
then they're just okay. Okay. Uh, move. Uh, move over here. Get this stuff seized down. Yeah, if they can't unite against me because they're too busy fighting each other, like there's nothing they can do. Literally nothing they can do to stop me. Oh my goodness. Oh no. All right. Well, what we're gonna do? We're going to start he hooing as we call it here. The uh, the humans. Yep. 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 We're gonna go ahead and focus them as well. That does lower our admin efficiency a bit, but that's okay. We'll survive. Uh, you go ahead and get ready to deal with the rebels. We could take tech here, or we could develop colonialism a bit. Uh, have I already developed colonialism? I have not. So let's do that. Preferably somewhere with a decent trade good. Yeah, that ivory is looking pretty sweet. Won't lie. Courage development here. And let's go ahead and put all of our points in. Uh, we are taking horde ideas, right? Yeah, we are taking horde ideas, so we're going to want to save our mill points, actually. But that's okay. I think getting the institution is more important than that at the moment. All right, well, we just unpause here, and... Oh, God, this is so bad for them. This is so unbelievably bad for them. You go ahead, we just wipe PC out. It's fine. We send this stack to the next capital. I don't have access. I need access through one person. Thank you. Even though, I, even though I'm he hooing his his race, he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can have access. Why not? Why not? Oh, him too. Him too. He's like, ah, sure. You're at war with the person I'm at war with. Oh, we're at war with the person right here. I was like, why can I not move through? Am I going crazy? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay, we're obviously going to loot everything into the ground. Is this a colony? Nope. That is fully mine. Uh, that is a vassal. That's all mine. Okay. I should be able to... Oh, I have to be a piece. So it doesn't matter if I scourge my vassals. Dang. Was hoping. Was hoping. General 50 tradition was just arrived. Uh, I don't know which one you were, but thanks. Sure. Can we get this, please? Nice. Uh, yep. Dealing with the rebels, not a problem. Our army tradition should be getting to be pretty high soon. With all the siege and stuff that we're going to do. Uh, you don't need to be taking attrition like that. You can walk up here. And send... Hold on. Send the cannon gun, because you had the five siege, right? Yep. Five siege. Send you there. What happened to these guys? Oh, that, that's just the province. I thought it was a different province. My bad. My bad. You guys pop on back. Uh, yeah. Lake Fed's not gonna like what we're about to do. Lake Fed is not gonna like what we are about to do. So we'll actually prefer to take things on the coast here before we take things here. So they'll be left as an OPM. That's fine. Give me your money as well. Peace out. Because they're all in the League War, they, uh... They can't, they can't join a coalition. This is not, this is not going to go well for them. I don't think they realize just how screwed they truly are. All right, do that. Uh, start coring it all up. Then once this falls, that'll be fixed. Uh, definitely prestige instead of unrest. For sure. There we go. First of the Humis are gone. There we go. You go ahead and give me all of this full annexation. Coalition, doesn't matter. There's nothing they, they can do about it. Burn it all to the ground. Cool, get you guys ready for the next war. And then there is finally you. And the Mountain of Death, and the reason I call it the Mountain of Death is because in the multiplayer game, uh, I've lost, I lost millions, literally millions of troops died on this mountain fort. Okay, millions of them. It was... It, like, we made a mountain out of bison. It was bad. It was really, really bad. Fun war, but not good for the people that fought in it. All right, there we go. And now that mountain fort is no longer a problem. It's gone. No more bad fort. Actually, no more fort at all. We're, we're just deleting forts. Uh, can't afford them. Don't want them. They're bad. Go ahead and raise everything to the ground. Here we go. We can core it all. And then... We can keep developing here to get up to colonialism. It will spread to our capital, and then we will be good to go. 
Uh, let's go ahead and integrate you now. I need some ammo power. That is fine. Okay, now the problem is my cannons are over here. Um, I suppose it's not a huge deal. I do want to wait for war until we can integrate a vassal, though. Do need to be able to do that. I could also Nijil people uh, like you. Soon. When is this? Uh, that is 1507. Okay, we'll wait till May then. And then we'll go to war. <clears throat> yeah, running into the, the caves is not going to save you, man. Sorry. Go ahead and integrate him. Wonderful. And we'll send our colonists here. Uh, and there's Truinic Resistance. Uh, okay, send two guys over here. Put our leader in charge. And just walk on them. If you saw that second option there, if things get too bad and rebels become too much, then we can just release them as one of our special nations. So that's, it's pretty nice. So even if things start to go real bad and we got separatists everywhere, we just go, okay, fine, Trinic Resistance. You can be a Dominion and then we can release them later and conquer them later. In the worst case scenario. Go ahead and Najil you. I guess we only take three provinces at a time. I mean, that's what it's seeming like. I mean, that's fine. Kind of whack. Didn't realize that. All right, next one. You. Actually, you're being sieged down. To be fair, though, who's not being sieged down? Uh, tribal conquest. This gives us 75, 100, 100. This gives us 100, 125, 75. Yeah, no. Monstrous for sure. Monstrous for sure. Uh, just walk on them. Yeah, see, this is, this is where we're going to run into problems. This is where we run into problems. Because eventually this will drain our manpower to incredible levels. Well, incredibly low levels. Um, but as long as the humans can get rid of them, as long as we can get rid of them really quickly, then they'll be fine. But if it takes a long time to do these, then we're going to suffer. We're going to suffer big time. Uh, go ahead and send our cannons back with the siege leader. Uh, where are those rebels? Okay, over here. We got 20k there to deal with them. All fine. You want peace? Well, there's only one option for peace, and <laughs> something tells me you're not going to be too interested in it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Something tells me you're not going to love the idea. Okay, there we go. You should be full annexed. You say no? How dare you? How dare you say such a thing as no to being fully annexed? You should want to be fully annexed. What's... <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Okay, there we go. Burn. Thank you. Corn on up. Uh, go help here. Trinic resistance uh, is over here. I guess we do this, and hopefully my vassals help me. I'm not willing to lose a battle. I'm not willing to lose a battle because my vassals don't help me. Alright, again, I, I gotta try not to lose a single battle in this run. Not a single battle in this entire run. Not an easy thing to do. Not an easy thing to do. Uh, I don't know what you're doing here. But you are not being helpful in the slightest. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, not helpful in the slightest. Uh, come on back. Okay. Uh, who's ready to be annexed? You are. Annexation, thank you. Uh, we'll just burn it immediately because I'll forget. Then we have you. Full annex. Give me your money as well. Do with you. Thank you. Coral. Uh, send this 16k over to help. Good riddance. Okay, now we can deal with these rebels. Nice. Yeah, I really do need this. Uh, this stack back up in here to help out. Uh, who is teaching this down? Great Storm is. Hey, hey. Guess who Great Storm belongs to? That would be me. Relation improved. Uh, cool. I don't care. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was trying to improve relations with people. Uh, good for us, I guess. We are the friendly centaurs. All right. Radicod, you can go ahead and... Oh, I can't fully annex you because it's occupied another war. That's fine. We can always annex them separately later on, right? Not a huge deal. 
Not a huge deal. They'll ally someone else and then we'll uh we'll get that last province. Burn, burn, and burn. Go ahead and core all. Alright. Uh my cannons. Oh, cannot currently make it back. Can I have access? No. Access? No. Well. Thanks for making my life easier. <laughs> uh thanks. <laughs> They're like, wait, <laughs> that was not intended. Uh, wait, no, 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 we, 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 we like, we'll give you access, we'll give you access. Like, no, too late now. Too late now. Now we here. Now we here, and we conquering. Hope your guys' religious war is going well, though. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, you guys would be, uh, disunited about your religion. Uh, us centaurs, we, we know what's up, okay? We know exactly what's up and what's going on. Uh, general has died. Huge rip. Huge rip. Uh, let's send just you on. Alright, and now we can get you fully annexed. Give me all your money. Thank you. The power of the centaurs. Power of the centaurs. Now we do have a decision here to disband the Lake Federation. If we own 60 provinces in the Lake Fed region, then we can disband them and they will go kablooey. Though, uh, well, they're already kablooeyed. I mean, it's not, it's not going to go well for them, okay? The fact that they can't defend themselves from me is not good for them. Good for me, bad for them. I sent the wrong stack. <laughs> I sent more horses on there. That wasn't the intention. I want to send my 10 cannons. And there we go. That should finish this war out pretty well. Go ahead and get full annexation off of you. Burn that. Delete the fort. This is also a very annoying fort to get through, so glad that it's gone. Uh, you down here. Go ahead, full annexation. Thank you very much. Burn that. And we have you. Full annexation. Thank you very much. Go ahead and burn and burn. What did I get access to? Probably a tournament? Yeah, we can just turn that off. I don't want to organize a tournament yet. Alright, go ahead and core all of that up. And let's go ahead and integrate Northern Wind. Perfect. And we can also start to integrate you. When? 1510. Another seven months or so. Okay. Oh, we also have a, a full way to walk through now. All the way up and through our land, which is super nice. Are you out of your league war? You are. You are out to Zerk and Wreck, though. Who is the Lake Fed leader. Uh, how big are you? 114? Okay. I mean, it's a very easy war. As long as you don't have any cores around here. Uh, is this being sieged down? We have a truce there. Okay, let's go to war with these guys then. Go monstrous superiority. Monstrous conquest. We will go in. Uh, let's just create a small siege stack here. 30 guys. Then you are just another combat stack. Uh... And make sure that you have the five siege general. And consolidator holdings, we have 50 provinces in the Forbidden Plains, which is just everything out here. So, though our Khan has been named leader of all centaurs, there are still some of our people who resist his destiny. We must consolidate the plains, bringing what few independent centaur clans under our ever-expanding banner. Najil is coming, whether they like it or not. For their destiny is forever intertwined with ours, and destiny, as they say, is inevitable. So we get... 10 years of centaur zeal, and we gain a bunch of permanent claims. Uh, now, face the desert elves, I need at least 30% cavalry combat ability. Back on track, I own 10 things up here. We get another colonist, a lonely oasis. We own all provinces in the Serpent Gift region, which we need to do when we Nijil with this guy. Yeah, and I have to start neighboring him. So we're going to want to probably colonize in that direction after this colony is, uh, is done. Yep. I think that is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and send this 25k up here. Your majority flees. Good, 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 good. Leave. You are not wanted here. You are not wanted. And having these vassals around actually is not too bad. Um, it saves me a lot of manpower from constantly sieging everything down. But like, we're gaining 1400 a month already. So... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And we're going to get an additional minus 20% land attrition. And we get plus 2.5 cavalry shock. Uh, 
the seventh limb. The use of pole arms comes to us naturally. They are not just mere weapons, but parts of our very being, extensions of our fury and strength. A true warrior forges his own weapon, ensuring the bond between arm and warrior. Cool. 0.25, cavalry shock. Uh, we don't necessarily need to finish that. I would rather get into governing capacity, to be honest with you. And how are we looking at institution spread here? It is here. So how much is it going to cost? Uh, 900? Okay. But yeah, we can do that. That's not too bad. You have any allies? You do. It's this guy. And you are 94%. You are 50%. Okay. Well, monster spear already. Go blood dries. Kill. Simple math. Simple math. And then I black flag myself. So maybe not so simple math. Maybe very complicated math. Uh, okay. See, so just down real quick. Send you around to help. Do you have any troops? It's 7,000. Just worried that he might try and make a run for it. Uh, here, but looks like my vassals are, are pushing up. We'll just sit here and loot. It's not a big deal. Okay, now you can push up into here. Uh, monetary reforms. Lose one stab. Lose two inflation. Uh, no. How did that affect our economy? It didn't. Okay. I should... I, what am I say? Economy. Our economy is conquest. Our economy is taking from everyone what is rightfully ours. There is no... Uh, none of this building up. What does that even mean? Building up. Gross. You know what? Give me those improved war taxes. Sure. Wait. Is that bug still in the game? Uh, hold on. Let's see here. So we get plus eight right now. If I enact this. Okay. Cool. There was a bug when uh, yeah, when 1.34 first released. Where uh, when you clicked the war taxes button, it gave you two mil points. So I didn't want to use that if that was the case. Because it always felt a little bit too cheesy for me. Just a little bit. Oh no, our good sea general died. I guess you're the new sea general. Uh, I always felt a little bit too cheesy for me. But I think they fixed it. In their, <clears throat> in their hot patches. Hot fixes, whatever they're called. The fixes, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, no, just stay here. I don't want him to jump on me. Cause issues. Uh, we do have rebellions and the such rising up everywhere. We'll go and deal with that. Okay, everything's being cored up in time. Wonderful. We have more rebels, which are being dealt with by my vassals. They unfortunately got rid of their siege progress, though. Classic AI. Like, I appreciate you helping me out and getting rid of the, the rebels, but like, come on, man. Right, you're gonna be here. You are a particularly juicy target because you're strong. Um, but I don't want to go into another war yet. I want to be able to integrate people. Uh, definitely go morale of armies. If I had a siege ability guy, I would do siege ability. Uh, National Unrest would be really nice to get. Greyfist, those are orcs, but we have 20k over there to deal with that. And that's why. Just so I don't have to think about it. He can just deal with it forever. I, I don't need to think about it. Uh, we will be getting rid of ogres at some point, by the way. We, we're going to hee-hoo the ogres. Uh, but I want to make sure that the humans are prioritized here. Otherwise, we will run into some issues. Like resistance. We've only gotten one Turinic resistance, though, so it's not too bad. All right, as for you, go ahead and... Can I roll a piece out yet? I just want him to break his alliances with, uh, with other people. I don't want to fight him until I kill him. It's the thing. But he doesn't seem so uh, inclined to peace out. We're going to have to convince him of the errors of his ways on that one. Uh, go ahead and split up. Send four onto there. And now we can deal with you. So you're going to give me all of your stuff. Thank you. Full annexation. Take your money. Appreciate it. Burn it all. Thank you. Oh, we maxed it on Diplo points. My bad. Whatever shall I do? Whatever shall I do? I'm throwing. Wasting Monarch points when I have unlimited Monarch points through raising. Mm, throwing, throwing. Uh, go ahead and take all of your land and all of your money. Thank you. 
and burn all of these to the ground as well. Uh, I didn't realize that they were in their religious war. That, uh, that definitely hurt them quite a bit. Quite a bit. Because they haven't formed their sword faction yet. So, it's only the allies that I actually have to deal with instead of like a whole grouping of people. And now we're, we're most of the way to disbanding them. Yeah, we're over halfway. That is pretty good. We can get a couple more wars in for uh, today, even. Okay, go ahead and move up. Uh, Zirkenrek, you will break your alliances. Thank you. I don't want too long of a truce, because I'm pretty sure we'll be there within five years. Uh, you will be full annexed, and you will give me all of your money. Thank you. Alright, perfect. And burn all of that. Delete these forts. I don't need them. I don't want them. They're expensive, and they're bad. Uh, wealth reacquisition. I own five urban provinces in the Lake Fed region. So we must admit, the cities these humans have built certainly are grand with their great buildings and hordes of treasure. In fact, many of our warriors were amazed at the sheer scale of the monuments of humanity, especially in comparison to the vast emptiness of our current home. As such, efforts must be made to destroy these monuments immediately and bring the treasures hidden within back to the Connie's heartlands. So we move a bunch of development from the Lake Fed into our capital. Perfect. The Southern Submission. So once I own all provinces in the Southern Cities region, then, uh... Yeah, we need to disband the Lake Fed. It can be done the decision. Oh, we have to disband first. Or we just own all things in the Southern Cities. And then once they're disbanded, we get a bunch of Centaur Zeal. Like a bunch of Centaur Zeal. Okay, first things first. Uh, let's deal with you. Yeah, see, that gave me more than three provinces. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. And let's go ahead and integrate Endless Arrows. Thank you. Cool. Uh, we're not going to full state any of that. Not yet, at least. All right, we can take another Horde idea, because we have plenty of time until there. So, minus one well National Unrest. Sweet. I really want this Cavalry Combat ability, because that will help us complete Face the Desert Elves, which gets us a claim on the Far Salahad, and then we can go and start bodying Dwarves and and elves and more dwarves and all kinds of fun things. Uh, who doesn't love doing that? Now you, oh, you did pick up an ally. Let me have a truce with you anyways. Uh, you, uh, I three people, who are you? Who are you? You're, yeah, you're gold mine. You have the gold mine. I kind of want to deal with you first. You're very weak though. Hmm, you know what we could do? We could just declare war, and then co-belligerize as much as possible. And we should be able to take everyone out, right? Sure. I'm sure that will work fine. Alright, move there, move there. Uh, yep. You do with these guys? Wait. Where's your capital? What in the world? <laughs> What's your capital doing down there? Wait a second, that's not where I thought that was gonna be. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That doesn't seem correct. All right, you go take these guys out. Uh, split you in half, you go here. Yes, these seizures will take a while, but it's fine. Uh, and now we're at war with pretty much everybody left in Lake Fed, and we will annex almost all of them, except for Zirkenrek. And if we have to truce break, then we will simply just truce break. It's not a big deal. We can find the admin elsewhere. But I don't think we'll need to. I'm pretty sure we'll be covered to annex almost everyone here. Almost. Like Zirkenrek, not big enough. But if we annex all their allies, then they'll make new allies, and then we can deal with that. Easy. Yep, Drenic resistance, that's fine. Go and deal with them. There's quite a few rebels, though. Uh, so send another backup group in. Here's my 10,000 cannons. Very risky to leave them completely alone. Probably shouldn't do that, no matter what. Uh, go ahead and send my colonists down here to get a board with Lake Foe. Uh, we need to make sure this guy has a general of some kind. Otherwise, he's losing us precious manpower for no reason. So there we go. Make sure we have an advisor as well. <sighs> Diplo rep. We really need that Diplo rep. Whatever shall we do if people look down upon us and they think that we're not, you know, uh, what, what are we without a reputation? Really, when you think about it. 
people really need to know that uh, us centaurs, we care about them, all right? And we want to bring them into our empire, whether they like it or not. There's some caravan power. Wonderful. Siege of Narkel is completed. Radicaton Separatist. Send you down here to deal with that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's move these guys in farther. I feel like they're too far away from the lands in the north that they need to deal with. This should hopefully get them within range. Which of these are all forests. Really wish there was a, a farmlands up there somewhere that we could take advantage of. Okay, Radicod. Hello. Uh, I should have just clicked on you. Because now I have to find you. There you go. I should be able to full annex you. Give me all your money. Thank you. Raise, raise, and raise. Oh, three development. Boo. Boo. Uh, we hate three development nations. How dare you? How dare you? You have no allies. And no friends. I have got terrible news for you. <laughs> I've got absolutely horrific, terrible news for you. You're dead. Horrific, terrible news. Yeah. Go, vassals. Go. Get them, boys. Get them. Alright, you can back off of here now. Uh, I do need to send an army to deal with this. So, let's go ahead and equip the Six Shock General. And send him down here. Really don't want him to grab these forts. It's very inconvenient to siege them back. Because he will siege them back faster. Well, no. He will siege us faster than we will siege him. So, we need to make sure that we are at least pushing them away. At least 25 should be more than enough. Way more than enough to deal with them. Like, these are all planes and stuff. Six shock. We should just... Okay, we didn't actually stack wipe them. Little concerning. Little concerning. Didn't lose a battle, though. Dang, they got that one, too. Uh, yeah, see. We can't assault this either, because I don't have any dudes here. Just Actually, we can't assault at all, because we only have cavalry. So, uh, no assaulting allowed for us. Illegal. Illegal all game. Never going to be allowed. Can never assault a single fort. Which kind of sucks, because that definitely seems like something the centaurs would do. It's just assault the fort, solve the problem, <laughs> move on. <laughs> no more problem. Uh, we are running a little bit over time here, but that's okay. Go ahead and full annex you. You say no. I don't care if you say no. The answer is yes. You will. Don't really care if you don't want to or not. Uh, hello? Did I send you here? I mean, I must have, because they're here. I don't remember sending you there, though. Alright, uh, let's send you up here to get all this siege down so we can get that tag out of the war. You should want out because you only have these three, right? Yep, full annexation. Take it. Thank you. Wow, we took out almost the entirety of the lake fed in, uh, in one fell swoop here. Uh, I guess we take Diplotech early. And yeah, because I don't really want to develop. Okay, I can also remove this edict now. No edict needed. Wonderful. Uh, get this on siege. Okay. We're getting through that now. You're up here, so go ahead and split up. Is this a colony? Mm, this one is. So I definitely want to burn this colony. Because I don't want it. Not right now. Uh, more rebels. It's fine. We have people to deal with that. Yep. Nope. You, uh, actually, send the cannons on. Just walk on them. Okay, that's a lot of dudes. Um, let's send half of this army back to help with that. Because that is that is a lot of rebels. Lot of rebels. These are farmlands, so we should get our good combat bonuses here. These are forests, though, so we won't. That's farmlands. This is farmlands. All right, cool. And now we go find him here, and that should be a win. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. You're still seeking that down. You are burning that, and then we are piecing out with this tag. Full annexation, thank you very much. Boom, burn, 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 and no burn. 
So now we can finish off horde ideas, which gives us uh, plus two for max for cultures and plus 25% cavalry combat ability. And we also finish another national idea, Step Destiny. We belong to the step, and the step belongs to us. Those that claim to be reclaiming ancient homelands are but interlopers to what we have earned through blood and conquest. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I, I guess, man. <laughs> I, I'm. Do you want to tell the centaurs no? I don't. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, man. You, uh, you're you taking what's rightfully yours? Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, but I think we're going to have to finish this war up in the next one. Uh, is there any peace deals that I can make here? Before we end off. I don't think I'm going to be able to full axe this guy. Wow. Rude. Very rude. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while to piece him out. Uh, you can be full axe though, so let's do that. Might as well just get everyone out that we can. And burn all of that and start coring it up. Uh, mission. We can save that for the next episode. Uh, you are... At 99%, are you willing to be full annexed? Yes, you are. Thank you very much. There we go. Get that done with. Burn. If there's things out here that can be burned, we will. Uh, get rid of that. And burn that. Can't send a colonist here, but we can send one here for good borders. Uh, start to core it all up. And just want to check, is there anyone else that wants out? No, not yet. They will not want out yet. And Zirkenrek, we will take like that or something. But we shall see. We will finish off the Lake Federation in the next one. Boy, oh boy. Uh, we are doing pretty well. Pretty well. So I'm going to integrate some of our vassals up here and uh, Najil with this guy one more time. But then we will have secured the plains and we will look south into Bulwar most likely and perhaps even move over into the Serpent's Vale. We shall see. But that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.